farmer friend singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those, those taste bud guys. I got the magic stick. What else do you need? It's an elemental stick, Patrick. No, 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 no. It's not at all. Look, look. It says it right there. It's a spiral. Oh, well, the lady at the store, which, by the way, her son tagged us on YouTube yes. and said, Hey, I want to thank you guys for helping my mom look for whiskey while you're in the store, because that's what we do. We're those taste bud guys. They're professionals. I We're don't, professionals. I don't We're actually think we weren't that actually, we weren't that helpful because what happened, well, what, what happened was <laughs> she was there and she said, uh, I'm looking for a whiskey to get a friend of mine. Can you recommend something? And they recommended a lot of something. Oh, like a lot. Like can we have. We did narrow it down to the price range and the style though. We to about fifteen bottles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're around fifteen bottles. Buy all of this. One of those, like, or all of them, or we'll just buy. Which, all if of you're them. watching, <laughs> at the end of the day, this... we bought the one we told her to get. No, 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 she. We bought the one she told us to get. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that was what this is her recommendation. She sold us the bottle. So uh, if we're... this is not good. So hey, man, thank your mom for telling <laughs> us which whiskey to get. Uh, we're working with Oak and Eden finished whiskey. Uh, fired French oak, wheat and spire, bourbon whiskey, finished on French oak spirals. Probably bullshit. There's a lot in there, and you know how Except you get to someone? Say a lot of words. That's true. Except for, there is a piece of spiraled French oak in that bottle. There is. Which, if you hold it to light, they can see that. I don't know if, you, I don't know if they'll be able to see this on camera. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It might not it's, work it's kind of hard to see. It's like okay. it's like looking in the cloudy fish tank. It's in there. It is. There is a piece of wood in there that I don't think we're going to be able to fish out and show you, but there is a kind of a corkscrew looking piece of wood about that long in that bottle. Um, it's a dark complexed bottle. It it's it looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. And it was I really super hope it's interesting. Good. I really it do. looks really really good. But before we get to tasting this, uh, remember to like, subscribe, hit the alarm button, right? On YouTube? Notification? Yeah, the yeah. little bell would be great. Yeah. Then you'll know every time we put a video up, which is usually two days a week, sometimes three, sometimes four. It depends. Yeah, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all the other stuff, but most importantly, Patreon. Patreon. That's how we survive, really. Uh, while we're, we're able in to. My basement. Yeah, just yeah. one of the two. It's, Patrick would like for us to get out of here. You <laughs> give us $4 on Patreon once a month. You buy us one beer once a month, or we live in Patrick's basement from now on. That's, that's where we're at. Please, Patreon. <laughs> it's not hard. It's not my, You just take it and you say, hey, here's $4. Okay. That's like a McChicken. You can do that. <laughs> no, it's actually four McChickens. Four McChickens. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Which McDonald's you got? I was going to say, when it was a dollar menu, it was four. Now it's like at two and a half. But, All right, so what do we know about this particular... So, it's a bourbon whiskey. Anybody bourbon. know who makes it? I what? didn't. That's Oak and Eden? Oak and Eden, yeah. <laughs> Is there a distillery uh, that makes it for them? It's listed. Well, as the last one to pour, you can decide. Okay. I assume that if it's listed as a bourbon whiskey, it adheres to the, to the uh, standards of bourbon. But nope. it's a bourbon finish... I like that nose. ...with... A corkscrew, what looks to be a corkscrew of a French oak barrel, which is an interesting, it's an interesting idea, right? It's basically like you take a bourbon, and once it like ages to the right level, whether that be the minimum of two years or beyond, whenever you decide that that bourbon has had enough, and you take it and you put it in, let's say, a sherry cask, right? And you age it in a sherry cask for another extended period, six months, 12 months, two years, whatever it is. This seems like What's it would this? do the same thing, right? That's that's my approach to this corkscrew thing is that they took a bourbon, they made a bourbon, and then they, instead of casking it in wine barrels or sherry barrels, they just said, we'll just put a piece of the wood in there and that'll that impart right. some of those flavors. I mean, they actually sell one of those you can buy on like say Amazon, for instance, that is one of those things you can drop in there and age your whiskey. I watched another YouTube video said it was 
BS. Yeah. If it's on I mean, YouTube, it's true. On the <laughs> other hand, it kind of has to work what? within reason. That being said, this is bottled by Sanctified Spirits in Louisville, Texas, That's but right distilled down. in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Oh. Now, now I wish we had. <laughs> I wish we had read the bottle. <laughs> Because where was the Noble Oak whiskey? It was where, Indiana. Yeah, but where in Indiana was not the same. I don't remember. Indiana, we had a Noble Oak. What we say and what we remember and what we type on the banner, three different things. Is there a banner? Like, Sometimes. There? There's, yeah, there's probably one right here. It um, probably was like a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Noble Oak from Indiana, we actually really liked, right? It was a good whiskey. Did you guys do a video on that? Uh, we did. It's not. Is it like right here? <laughs> it is it's not right there. It is right it's there. been released yet or not. Here's what it really I think I just on. edited that one, actually. It, it really depends on whether Chris uploaded the video or if I la- uploaded the video. Chris adds the cards. I don't watch the oh. episodes. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Finished in bottle. Buddy. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't taste it. You haven't tasted it, right? Not yet. Still no. And it's got a really cool it's nose, a, but it's super but interesting. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty an alcohol you know, like it's got that sharp nose to it. Fruit Loops. I want loops. you guys to taste it together because that was... Fruit Loops. That was surprising. The nose is Fruit Loops. There's this sugary, fruity... His nose is better than my nose. Ready? Three, sure. two, one... Oh, I love that. That's good. I love that. That is so good. Yeah. So. For the last bottle of whiskey at night. Now, got a little weird finish. Yeah, I was going to say. A little weird finish when it's done. Kind of comes back to kick you in the ass. It's rough in the mouth. Um, I'm not even sure bitter is the right word. It's uh, astringent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a. Um, Medicine y. Medicine y. It's like some of the, uh, the NyQuil. It sticks there, but everything up to that point. Take another drink. That's really good. So, when I bought this bottle from a wonderful suggestion, <laughs> they said, This is a novelty. This is just to sell the bottle. And I don't know that it is anymore because I was pleasantly surprised well, with this taste. I just want to say, I've seen some YouTube videos that talked about those little things and putting them sticks in there. And they're saying, it's it's a novelty. It's just it isn't going to work. All that. However, as I said, it has to work mechanically from a scientific viewpoint. It has to work. You're talking about putting liquid in contact with wood. You put all the spirals around it. You've got more surface area in which the liquid to make contact with. It has to work to a degree. To a degree, based on the temperature that the bottles are kept in. Yeah. Because a lot of that is the swell and contraction of the wood. Now, what percentage of wood you need to that liquid, I don't know about that. I'm not even sure at all. I, I'm i kind of torn on this. I'm oh. really torn. Here's why I'm torn. The nose is gorgeous. It is? Beautiful nose. The taste is good. Great, even. Up until... The finish. very last finish, and that finish is so... Oh, it's, it's actually not even a finish. It's an aftertaste. Finish is fine. It's once you swallow it and you straight right take your next breath, you go, oh, oh, wait, what? It is so puckering, astringent. Medicine. It comes back to being medicine. It's got this weird licorice... I not. I don't think it's enough to keep me from buying the bottle. No. What was no, this No, it's again? actually it like good. 40? 40? Oh, 35, I think. It's, right it's actually it's really good. maybe. 35, 38, 40 bucks. It's not I enough will, to stop me from drinking. I will at guarantee all. you, totally worth it. Buy this again. No, that's that's a fantastic price for a complex palette of flavors. And it is complex. I think it'll be right in there with my dude. Yeah. Yeah. All day, every day. This will be this, all, here's here's the thing. I think here's the downside to it. It tastes a bit new. Yeah. Like it like it didn't get aged well. But at the end of the was, day, it was false aged. It, well, it, it does feel a bit like cheating. Yeah. But I don't know if it's a bad thing. I mean, other than saying, hey, it does taste like it a little bit. It doesn't taste like a eight-year-old whiskey. But it's still pretty good. 
This wouldn't be the first whiskey I buy in this price category. However, I like it. And beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. It is a good bottle. If you're full up and you have a fairly healthy shelf of whiskey. um, I don't have that. This is... This is a nice bottle for the price category. It looks nice. <laughs> There's a cool story. It's, I mean, okay. Oh, hell, let's, let's talk about those tasting notes real quick before you try to wrap this up. Yeah. Which is, it talks right here on the label. It says wheat and spice. There's a well, lot that's of That's pretty freaking prominent. Spire. Wheat and spire. Wheat and spire. I thought it's a spice. Well, maybe, okay, maybe it's a spice on the label. But Probably. there is almost a, uh, uh, I was anise. Yeah. There is a hint of like an anise, which again, throw back to that licorice finish. It does say spire, don't it? it I've does. heard that as, as spice all this time. Oh my God. You know what would be the worst thing? Nog. Is if you Nog, read yeah. a whiskey that was called number nine as Nog the whole night. That would be terrible. <laughs> um, throw back to that episode. I, I honestly thought it was spice in the back. But... <laughs> you have so many cards to put in. <laughs> Actually, I think it's just two, but we'll see. Um, they, they won't be there. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's all right, I, I usually get the cards in. I like this. I if I was if somebody said I have no bourbon, I have no whiskey, what do you recommend in this price range? This would not be my first go-to. However, if you have what would be for a thirty-five dollars bottle, yeah, what would be your go-to? Uh, you know, I had one jump to mind immediately. Duke of Gummers. Uh, uh, honestly. For 35 bucks. The very first bottle for a good, solid, standard bourbon for 35 bucks. Old Forester 100. Evan Williams Single Barrel. Also a fantastic choice. Um, Which we just did, and it is fresh in my mind, and I think for $35 yeah, whiskey. Pretty good. That yeah. one is stellar. But that said. Is it hand, head and tables, or is it splitting hairs? I mean, is this. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I mean, it's to each their own. If, if you like something that is fruity and bold and a big chewy flavor, this could be I guess, your whiskey. If you like something that's more traditional bourbon yeah. than uh, Evan Williams Single Barrel. I guess that's what I'm getting at is that this is not a traditional bourbon whiskey. No, but it doesn't say it is either. No, so. no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. And for this the price lot. point, it's pretty good. I like it. And of course, the here's... I tell this, you what keeps throwing me is that print on the back of the bottle I keep thinking is left hand brewing and I'm just it just is driving me <laughs> nuts to say I, that. I love the color. It's a beautiful the color. It's beautiful. So it's um, 1792-esque. I am yeah. not upset about this at all. No, no, it's a good whiskey. It's a good buy. It's a um, yeah. Good it, buy. Good buy. Just go grab yourself a bottle mean. and try it. Yeah, I would try that one. It's you may or may not like it to the degree we do. Worth your time. All right. Well, until next time. Whether it's a stick you're putting in your bottle. The <laughs> recommendations you're getting at a liquor store. The food you're eating. The clothes you're wearing. Oh, I just, I just, the you people you're meeting. Grab a buddy. Try something new. new. <laughs> you almost got it. Almost. You're I, almost, I got confused. You're still better than I am. I like this. <laughs> Lyle's finally leading this. Like, <laughs> hey, you got it, buddy. Like you've ever gotten one. <laughs> like, you can get it right. <laughs>